I'm asking God to help me do this because I just woke up out of a dream. It is shaking me to my core. I dreamed that I was in, I was in the street somewhere, and I was in this place. And there were so many hungry people for Jesus. I just started telling them about the love of Jesus and what God had done for them. And I gave them the gospel story that God loved them so much that he sent his son to die on the cross for them. They were so hungry to receive Jesus. Probably 25 or 30 of them said this sinner's prayer. And I woke up out of my sleep and I said, Lord, Give me the strength to just share this message with somebody before I forget it. Because oftentimes dreams are forgotten by the time you get up out of bed. So I just want to tell you, I don't know who this is for. If it's just for one person, it'll be worth it. This is not about me. This is not about me at all. It's about you and about you giving your life to Jesus. He died on the cross. God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross to save us from our sins. We can't save ourselves. It is all about what he did on the cross. So if you don't know Jesus, time is short and running out. And somebody needs this message and I'm willing to give it to you. No matter what I look like, it doesn't matter. It's not about me. I just want you to know that God died on the cross to save you from your sin. He died and he rose again and he went back to heaven and ascended to the Father and he's coming back to get all of us. He's coming back to get us. You can believe that story. Will you just confess your sins? Because if you've even told the smallest sin, we've all sinned. Every one of us, we were we were born in iniquity. We were born sinners. We can't help it. We're in a fallen world. But God has done something to remedy that. He has given his son to just, if we just believe, if we just believe that God is son, that God sent his son, God says we will be saved. He says, if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's all we have to do. And in my dream last night, this is the message that I was given to these people and they were so hungry and they gave their life to Jesus. And I said, Lord, will you give me the strength to do this video? Because I don't know who it's for, but I know that I surrendered my life to Jesus in 1999. 2001 after 9-11 and I know that I have rededicated my life to Jesus and I live a peaceful life I'm not afraid to die I know if Jesus comes today I'm ready and I want every one of my subscribers to be ready to see Jesus don't put this off just ask him to come into your heart and all you have to do is say Lord Jesus I'm a sinner I confess that I'm a sinner I just want you to come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and that he sent Jesus to die on the cross and he raised him for my salvation. I believe that with all my heart. Will you forgive me, Jesus, and come into my heart and let me be a child of yours because that's why you came. And I just appreciate you listening to this video. And if you don't know Jesus, and will you just reach out in the comments and I will be happy to pray for you. And others will be the same. Will you just surrender your life to Jesus? Because you will be so glad you did. Because you will find peace that you cannot even explain. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm doing this video. But it's all because of Jesus. It's almost 3 in the morning. And I know that God wants me to put out this video for you. And so I hope that you will take this message and give your heart to Jesus and surrender your life because you will find perfect peace if you just surrender your life to him. Thank you so much. I just admit that you're a sinner. Believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And God said in his word, you will be saved. So how can you know that you're saved? You can know it because God said so. He said, if you ask and believe, you will receive. And that's all that I can tell you is that God said so. And I believe it because his word tells me so. Simply put, I believe it because the Bible tells me so. And I, I hope you will receive this message in exactly the tone that I am giving it to you. I feel like I had to do this. And maybe there'll just be one person who give their heart to Christ. It will be worth it. Thank you so much for listening. And God bless you all.